Hi, so my first Hello. question first uh, goes to James. Uh, what was it like for you to undergo the process of motion capture filming? Was it your first time and did it create an obstacle in portraying the villain Ultron? It was my first time and at at first, there there was an obstacle because of all the sort of technical gear and all the rest of it and the headlights in my face. There, I had this head headgear on and and uh, these two cameras that were right here with lights around them, filming all the time. Um, but in a weird way, it very quickly and maybe it's just actor sort of reflexive, you know, it's just sort of reflex uh, that very quickly it just became my costume and makeup, dots all over my face and you know, all the rest. Yeah. And it just very quickly became that. And, and, and ultimately at the end of the day, it became just doing what actors do, which is going to the set and doing scenes with other actors. Right. All right, and my next question is for you. Um, the character of Vision is found upon the idea of artificial intelligence. And what things did you take into consideration prior to preparing for your role? Would you say that, um, your character is the ideal uh, portrayal of artificial intelligence, or did you try to like still add some non-human elements to the vision? I, I'm 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 a human, so um, uh, it's uh, you, you one ends up playing a human. That's what you are. You know? I've been trying to. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, you, you, the, the narrative takes care of the fact that I'm a robot or an android. Mm -hmm. uh, or a synthesoid, but um, the 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 job that I have is to humanize that, and and you don't really have much option because I am a human. It would be like me trying to play a car. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> know where to start, so I, I can only I can only play humans. So. All right. Um, my next question is: uh, What would you say differentiates Ultron from other Marvel villains, and what do you particularly like about Ultron? Well, there have been aliens that have been Marvel villains, and there have been super bad guys, you know, just human bad guys. Um, but he's originally created by man, and then sort of self-generates into this other being entirely. And yet his sphere of influence is all very human. And so he's... And also, he has a very, he's got a world view. Um, and I think that he has, he has what he perceives as being <coughs> good intentions. Um, Self-serving in a way, uh, but he, he definitely has a clear rhetoric. And he, and he's got what he perceives as a very important purpose and that and that he's he's try, in, in a strange way he's trying to save the world from these other group of people who are think that they're trying to save the world but he he feels so strongly that they are part of the problem um I forgot what the question was, so I'm not sure how to get round back to the answer. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think, oh, differentiate from other villains. Um, well, I think he's really complicated in that way. That he, he is that very, very complicated. He, he's convinced and he's, he's so doing crazy. Noble. You know, he's crazy, but he, he's crazy. But in his, through his craziness, there is a, there is a clarity to what it is that he, his intentions are. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, in his absolutely nutty way, he, he thinks it's for the good, um, which is bad for all of us. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.